Hello, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Melissa with 1S, but you can call me Mel, and today we're going to be taking care of my Alocasia Regal Shields. So first we're going to repot my plant and stick around if you want to hear some care tips as well. First I'm going to repot the plant that you see here beside me because it definitely needs to be up potted. It's pushing out some beautiful leaves, but uh, it's showing some bulbs at the top and also I see some roots coming out from the bottom. So I think it's a good time, especially since I'm sharing with you some care tips, to also repot it at the same time. I'm really excited to repot in this video because I just received my new potting mat, which I'm super excited about. This is not sponsored or anything. I bought the product and it's from uh, Planty Joy on Instagram. Check her out, I'll leave it on the screen. And super nice person. I spoke to her briefly and then I ended up deciding to buy a mat from her. She left me a thank you note, which I will read later. And there you see Planty Joy. So I'm excited because I don't have a potting mat and it's just going to make things a lot easier when it comes to cleaning up. I bought the mermaid pattern which is so cute, sorry all the noise, Aww. that actually looks so nice. I was going to go for the plain one but I'm like okay let's do something different. So we're going to use my new potting mat for this repot. I don't know if that's too shiny, sorry, but... Oh, that's actually so cute! And then you just clip it on either side. Let me know if you have a potting mat, if you like them, if you have good experience with them or not. But I'm excited to use it for this repot and, of course, on the Regal Shield. So. She also gave me some worm castings, which is actually pretty cute. So I'm gonna grab the plant. And this is a perfect size for the plant, which is nice. So right now I have the Regal Shield in a plastic pot. This is actually the nursing pot that it came with. But I can already tell that it's just popping out of the pot already. And the soil that it's in, it tends to dry out pretty quickly. So as you see there, oh God, I'll get it closer. So it definitely needs to be repotted. I see a bunch of bulbs or chromes. People are calling them differently, but you know what I'm talking about. So I'm actually gonna leave them because I'm about to leave out of town for about a week. So I don't wanna have to worry about the bulbs not having water and stuff like that. So I'm going to leave them with the plant for now. And I already pre-mixed soil as well. So I'll be grabbing that. So the first care tip that I want to share is making sure that the plant does have well draining soil, but maybe not too well draining where it will dry out pretty quickly. So I have this plant right beside an east facing window, or I should say door. So it's a glass door, the plant's right beside it. And it, it seems to really love it, especially because it's giving me bigger leaves. So I figured I'd show you where the plant actually goes. So here's the back door and the plant is just between this couch and door. It definitely gets a lot of light. It's east facing and the plant is just loving it here. I do tend to rotate the plant a few times just because it will start reaching or tilting towards the window. So I'll just turn it, rotate it. That way they can equally um, get enough light and not to be stretching But look at these leaves. They are so cool. Sorry about the lighting, but it's pr pretty sunny outside So cool So this time when I do repot the plant I am going to add a little bit more soil just because it seemed to dry out pretty quickly and I can tell that the soil here is quite chunky. Obviously, depending on where you have the plant will depend on what soil you're gonna use. I have not had any root rot with my alocasia, and so the soil mixture that I use is pretty much 
perfect for them. There is orchid bark, perlite, cacti soil, potting soil, worm castings. Like I say in all my videos, I basically use the same soil mixture for all my plants. But if you are an overwaterer, you may want a little bit more chunky. If you're an underwaterer, you may want a little bit more soil. So allocations are pretty forgiving, but let me know your experience on your allocation. Okay, so here I have my pre-mixed soil that I have in this plastic container. And I did grab a terracotta pot. And to be honest, I do like terracotta better for my alocasia. One reason being that I have this plant on my main floor. So like I said, it's beside an east facing glass door, which is the room where we have the TV, we hang out. So I do see it often, especially when I go outside to the garden. Ultimately, I end up watering it every time I do see it dry out. So I don't mind the terracotta because I can keep an eye on the plant a lot more versus here in my plant room. So it's up to you if you want plastic or terracotta, but you would just have to accommodate your soil depending on the type of pot you're using for the alocasia. And I am just going to slowly peel some of these roots at the bottom just so that it could stop going in a circle. But I also don't want the bulbs to fall. Because again, I don't want to worry about them just yet. I will probably take them off in a couple of weeks because I obviously know that there's a lot here. And bulbs, if you watched my other video or chromes, uh, they are a way for you to propagate the plant. So you can divide when you're repotting the plant if you see some and those little bulbs will turn into different plants, which is nice. Now I did grab a coffee filter piece of paper and I'm putting it at the bottom and I'm just going to fill the pot up about a quarter of the way. And like I said, this potting soil is ideal for my alocasia. If you want the specific measurements, you can leave a comment down below or let me know what has worked for you. Uh, it, like I said, it just really depends on your parent habits and this the way that you take care of your plants if you like to water them more often or not so i'm just going to throw this over top and again i'm not going to disturb too much of the roots when it comes to humidity i'm going to put this to the side when it comes to humidity i don't really worry about it with my alocasia because ultimately i'm just going to take some out Ultimately, it's been doing really well just with the humidity in my house. And what else? When it comes to alocasia, you do want to be wiping down the leaves just because they are spider mite prone. So definitely, even if it is every other time that you water the plant, make sure you just take a glance at the leaves, make sure it's okay and there are no pests. Just because when you do see issues with the leaves, you can probably take the guess that it may have pests or it has to be repotted. I feel like it's either one or the other. So for me, this plant was dropping leaves because it needed to be repotted. Like you see here, the leaves are beautiful and big and just so lush. So I know that the plant wasn't, you know, not doing well. It just needed more space to grow and as you see at the bottom it definitely is going to benefit if you've seen the last few videos of mine I like to do videos where I'm repotting and kind of chatting with you about the care tips so hopefully you like that style if not let me know if you'd rather me just kind of do separate ones but I like multitasking <laughs> so that I feel like I'm actually doing something in my videos as well and hopefully you're able to take care of one of your plants while you're sitting and watching this video, be able to grab one of your alocasia, see if they need some attention. But yeah, so it's just helpful that way I'm sharing some information with you and also repotting my plant at the same time. So just like that, I like to keep a about an inch I would say on the top of the soil just because when you do water the plant you don't want it to overflow and I think this plant is going to love the fact that it's been repotted. Uh, you see this leaf is starting to droop so I really didn't want to lose another leaf uh, because I just lost one like a few days ago. 
So definitely I wanted to repot the plant that way I could give it more room. And other than that, I feel like with alocasia, it has a they have a bad rep for some reason, but I hope that some of these tips could help you improve the quality of life for the plant. But definitely do some research. They're really not that hard. I have three in my collection. If you've seen my past videos of my alocasia metal head, I have an alocasia elephant ear, which is actually right over there because I need to repot that one as well. But I don't want to bore you with two alocasia repots. But uh, I definitely wanted to share a little bit about this Regal Shields because it's becoming more popular and it is a beautiful plant. I would say it's a one of the alocasias that are more easy care versus like a poly just because of the texture of the leaves it doesn't need as much of that humidity that a plant that maybe has more of a thicker leaf needs uh, but that's just based on my experience I had a hard time with the alocasia poly not that hard but enough for me to not want it and sell it and not want to buy another one so here we are and I replaced it with this Alocasia Regal Shield, which I love. I think it's gorgeous. Um, even like the veining at the bottom, it's super nice. It has like an iridescent shine on the leaves. So definitely give it a shot. If you want to try out an Alocasia, this is probably a good safe option when it comes to one that's maybe a bit easy uh, care. But other than that, thank you for sticking around. Leave a comment if you have any other questions about this specific alocasia. Hit that subscribe button. I did pass 700 plant lover followers and I appreciate you sticking around and sharing your plant parent journey with me. Give it a thumbs up if you did like this video and I will see you soon.